point. This is second Ezra 15 and 6. Right. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, yep. and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Yeah, for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. Whose wickedness, Esau, Edom, Malachi, the first chapter, Romans, the ninth chapter, and various other prophecies that speak about the so called white man, Esau, Edom. Okay, exceedingly polluting the whole earth. Okay, everything's polluted, man. The, the air, the food, the water. Okay, everything's into uh, GMOs, uh, genetic modified uh, organisms. Yeah. Uh, aluminum, barium in the air. Yep. Uh, fluoride in your water, fluoride in your toothpaste. You know, um, people are polluted with what? The strong drink of the philosophy, Roman Catholicism, Christianity. Are people thinking that they're uh, Pan Africanism? Okay. Which is these are all your, these are all your enemies. Okay. And these are the crossing out of our Lord. Our Lord is even crucified in this uh, evil, wicked place, as referred to in Revelation 11 and 8. So going back to you said Revelation 11 and 8, bro. Yeah. I want to I want to back you up. Right. This is uh, Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt where also our Lord was crucified. So again, our Lord is crucified over here because what do they put in? They put in the image of Caesar Borgir. Yep. Okay? And that goes back to of old. They've done this like three, four times uh, over. They had Ptolemy yep. the second. Okay, you had Ptolemy the first. He thought he was a god. Okay, so he analyzed, he put himself as a god. Then he put his son as the, as the second coming of, of, uh, of Yahweh Shai. Okay? Showing you that they've done this again. And now what do you have? Yep. Jesus Christ. Okay, when our Lord is actually a so-called uh, black man, okay, and his name is Yahara Shai, he means he is the savior, he is the deliverer, and he came, and he came for what? The Hebrew Israelites, okay, the so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, yep. or if you're of the speckled bird looking like the other nations, and your spirit bear witness with this doctrine, because again, it's not about uh, the blackest person, or, or the most, uh, you know, most, most Spanish, or most, most Indian person, okay, it's about uh, the, if your spirit bear witness with this doctrine, okay. Which is following the, the holy scriptures, yep. right? Referring to uh, Romans 8 and 16 and uh, 1 John 4 and 1. Okay? And why is this place called Sodom and Gomorrah? Because if you look around, all you see is lust of this world. You see uh, pig, uh, swine is, a, is as a delicacy. Shrimp is a delicacy. Lobster is a delicacy. Okay? Uh, sleeping with another man's wife is a delicacy. Delicacy. Uh, selling drugs, being involved in a witchcraft is a delicacy. The more wicked that you are, the more, um, the more you get um, elevated in this, in this uh, society. Look at, for instance, uh, you know, um, Will Smith. Okay, his, all his kids are, are, are through. They have, they're on that Babylonian uh, juice, yep. which is what? That, uh, that um, Druid spirit, that Holly, yep. Hollywood spirit from uh, LA. Okay, out there in LA, which is, goes back to um, enchantments. And what are they doing? That whole thing was an enchantment. Then you got his woman over him. Okay, and then he's he's played as a simp when when a man is actually supposed to be the leader of your household. Again, things are turned upside down, right? And he's, first he, he's pushing that vibration because uh, Hollywood also goes into Holly weird. That word weird translates to the word bizarre, yeah. which means awkward, man. And awkward actually goes back to the spiritual demon Satan, Shatan, yeah. which is the adversary. <laughs> and it also goes into those strange children, yep. Psalms 144 and uh, 7, where it speaks about protect me from those strange children. Why? Because they're always constantly. Uh, talk, they're always everything they do is about death, okay. But they'll come with their nice, you know, their suits and, yeah, and three uh, piece suit. yeah, three-piece suit, yep. and they say, "Hey, we're here to help you." But really, that's um, order out of chaos. Order out of chaos. They're never here to help you. That, that's uh, Satan coming as an angel of light. Yeah, I, guess I think that's in the book of Jude. I want to back you up real quick with the word Sodom here in the uh, Compact Bible Dictionary, Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. It says uh, Sodom. It says, one of the so-called cities of the plain, the others being Arma, Gomorrah, Zeboim, and Zoar, located on south portion of the Dead Sea. Uh, it says, a sodomy, a male temple. It says, a prostitute, someone that has a natural and sexual perversion. That's uh, Hebrews, the 12th chapter. Uh, Esau's like unto that profane man. Well, he is a profane man. I read that again, that, yeah. last, that last part. It says, a, a sodomy, a male temple prostitute. Done. And what is uh, Babylon the Great known as? That great whore. Yep. Okay, why? Because of all the abominations that it has. You can come over here, you can marry an animal, you yep. know, you can marry a, a stick, yep. you know what I mean? You can uh, you can be in any kind of, um, you know, as far as religion, you can yep. be whatever you want to be over here. You can be a transformer. They also have something known as uh, ne necromancy, something? Ne necromancy? Oh, necromancy. Yeah. Water, um, bro. Necromancy. Where they're, um, 
you're, basically where they're with. You're, like, yeah, right you're, you're, get, you're giving the authority to have sex with dead people, man. Yep. Uh, attention, boogie yeah. boarders. And that's why how about you know just about the strongest space, man? Yep. We have very you know, bestiality. Area, you know, having we, having uh, sexual yeah, intercourse with the with, with, with the dog, with the cat. At all times. Again, going back to the words sodomy, it says a natural sexual perversion for which Sodom became noted in Genesis 19 chapter. It says. Forbidden by the law, you want to get that's what I, that's uh, what I was trying to get through yeah. army 23 and 17. Because according to the law, man, of uh, being a, a sodomite, uh, being against the how about you know, that's a sin. What is sin? First John 3 and 4, which is a transgression of the law. It says, uh, fasting itself upon Israel. When you go into first Kings, the 14th chapter, it says, ancient heathen world practiced even in the temple, second Kings. Uh, 23rd chapter so even during the times of uh, our forefathers they actually practice uh, uh, sodomy man okay that's why how about Shai overthrew the nation of uh, Judah and the nation of e Ephraim from the uh, holy land of Israel what you got bro Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy uh, 23 and 17 yep there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel yeah you're not supposed to be a so-called male prostitute okay a, a man sleeping with a man a woman uh, sleeping with a woman that's uh, a According to the scriptures, okay, that's a sin. Water yeah, the water broke. If a man lay with another man as he do a woman, he shall be what? Put, put to death. death. Hey, hey, that was and that was a common practice that a lot of the Romans used to used to partake in. And because yep. you know, the you had you had uh, scattered Israelites among the Romans, hey, and they took they partook in, in Roman customs, they fell in, they they follow suit, right? You know, this is the the book of Romans, uh, the first chapter in the twenty uh, I'll start at verse 26. And that's a spirit because that's, you said that was the first verse, the first chapter? First chapter, yeah. And that's the intro of uh, Apostle Paul, which is a Hebrew. So he was like, that's yep. right, yep. yep. He was calling out sodomy. Yep. You know, he was calling out fucking uh, uh, sodomy and, 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 and you know, oh, giving idolatry, examples all, all that shit, man. <laughs> Transformer. All that shit, all that. that yeah, because all that's a vexation spirit. All that leads that to is death. Okay, all that leads to death, and you can't procreate. Okay, so what Esau Edom tries to do in this world, he'll have the man um, try to uh, have the baby. Yep. And what he'll do is he'll procure the, the, the seed, he'll keep the seed, so basically having all these babies without actually being with the man. Okay, that's another sick thing that he that he tries to do. Well, he's trying to take away our blessing because our blessing pursuing to the book of Genesis, it says, well, be fruitful and multiply. Yep. Yeah, uh, everlasting what, covenant. It, yep. it, that happened in, in Exodus too, the first chapter. What they yep. try to do with the midwives, or they they had the they put charge over the midwives with the Egyptians. To, yeah, to, to kill off the, the, the male born babies. Yeah, okay, get yep. the account you know Exodus, the first chapter. Yep. Oh, but so this Romans. is uh, Romans 1 and 26. For this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affections. You want to start a verse before that? Con, verse 25. Yep. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie? Yeah, who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie, meaning Esau Edom, he actually shifted the uh, covenant of the uh, rainbow, which is a covenant that the Lord will not uh, flood the whole earth again. Uh, Esau changed that into the, the LGBT sign, which is what? Baphomet. Uh, confusion, though, ever. Yep. Who changed the truth unto the mo of the Most High into a lie? Yep. A and worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Yeah, they serve the creature more than the creator, man. You have a lot of our people, uh, two thirds, even here in Babylon the Great, who are worshiping the, uh, the stars, the zodiac signs, okay, worshiping uh, creatures from the sea animals. Okay, Baphomet again, go ahead. Who is blessed forever, Amon. Yep. Verse 26, for this cause the Most High gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Yeah. And then what is that talking about? Lesbianism, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Women, women, uh, uh, you know, uh, eat, you know, Buff fe feeding off yeah. on each other. Yeah, yeah. Buff you know, diamond. for for you know, lack of a better word, they feeding on each other, man. Yeah. Carpet munchers. Carpet. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Verse uh, twenty-seven. And likewise, also the men. So not only was was women doing it, but men was doing the same exact shit, man. Yeah. All right. It says. Hey, what are examples? Uh, letting your hair grow all the way to your your knees. Okay. A man letting his his hair grow. Okay, yep. that's an example of being wicked, man. And that's against nature, man. Uh, wearing you makeup, know? you know, yeah. they were wearing makeup back then too. That's another sign of being being uh, feminine. And they do okay. that still to this day. Look, yeah. like we were talking about Holly Weird. Yeah. yeah. They put makeup on on the yeah. men to, to to cover the blemishes and shit like that, man. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, they'll get uh, surgeries. You know, they'll get surgeries on themselves. So I got that account. Oh, hold, hold on, on, hold on. Yeah. Finish this up. Yeah. It says verse twenty-seven. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of a woman, mm. burn in their lust one toward another. Mm. Men with men. Stop right there real quick, bro. It says burn with their lust. What does burn mean? Sodom. Sodom. <laughs> yeah, bro. Burn in their lust one toward another. Men with men. 
working that which is unseemly mm. and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. It says, verse 28, and even as they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge, the Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind mm. to do those things which are not convenient, being yeah. filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, uh, malignity. Yeah, covetous, you know, um, wanting what another man has, wanting his wife, adultery, okay? Whisperers, which in other words, is, is gossiping, yeah. man. That's one thing a, a man should not be doing, part, uh, partaking in, in, in talking about other people behind their back, man. Yep. Yeah, that, that's, that's a, a woman's yep, trait, yep, that's yep. a feminine trait. That's, yep. a feminine trait, that's what it's talking about, whisperers, you know? Yep. You know, uh, it says, uh, backbiters, haters of the most high, despiteful, proud, Right. It says, well, proud. And doesn't right. Esau Adam has something known as a, a pride, pride, pride month? month? Pride month? Yep. It says, boasting, boasters, yep. inventors of evil things. This will, and who's the inventors of evil things? What are we talking about? Esau Edom, man. Yep. You know, this is the cause and effect. This is what Esau has done. He's, he is the uh, the inventor of evil things. And that's why this world is, is turned flipped, flipped upside down, man. Right? It says, disobedient to parents without understanding, covenant breakers. Without natural affection, impeccable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of the Most High, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasures in them that do them. So not only not only doing those who have who who uh, who are who, who do these things, but those who are okay with allowing this shit to happen, yeah, you're yeah. just as guilty. Because again, what do they do? They pass uh, laws, unrighteous decrees, to be able to be able to do this. What did uh, Barack Obama do? He passed a law where you can be able to marry a man on man, a woman on woman, where they can be able to get married. And why did they do that? They did that so they can be able, they know that people don't stay together. Because yeah. even regular marriage, right, 50% um, of the people break up. Okay, so they're able to capitalize on the, on that uh, on that thing, uh, on far as on the, on the marriage, okay? And they know that. Why? Because the society is wicked. When you're supposed to actually stay with your, um, your, your wife, or you, you know your husband and wife when you're married you're supposed to stay with that person ba uh, basically till they die now if a woman cheats i think it is then you can be able to to get rid of her give her a bill of divorce yeah, give her a bill of yeah, divorce she gets nothing yeah she gets nothing and, and also another thing they do that's wicked is um when, when a, say a woman wants to leave they're not supposed to take your children okay you're supposed to take your seeds those are your children those are those are your property okay but what does the society do they'll give away um they'll give away the uh, the babies to to the woman as long as she's you know basically not on drugs right isaiah 24 and 10 the city of confusion and that's what uh babylon is known as babylon goes back to babel which goes back to confusion and that's what um you know america you the usa is known as a great confusion babylon the great in the scriptures the city of confusion is broken down every house is shut up and that no man can come in Okay. Yeah, that's happening. Uh, I read an article yesterday that here in California, they're passing the bill to reduce the uh, full-time uh, hours of work from 40 hours to 32 hours. Okay. And that, that's that example when I say, uh, what is it, 24? Go ahead, bro. It says, there is a crying for wine in the streets and all joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. So again, this yeah. mirth spirit of uh, being a man on man, woman on woman, you know, having sex yeah. with another man's wife, that spirit is being being sucked out of this uh, out of this world, okay? Because that's why it says, um, you know, we are the prophets. We're, we're actually yeah. sucking the, the the spirit of, of, of this uh, system, man. Okay. Yeah, because every word that every word that a, um, a prophet a prophet of Yahweh Shemar Shai speaks is is a brick out of uh, Esau Edom's kingdom. Yep. It's another way of uh, with a second Ezra six and eight, where it speaks about um, Esau is the end of the world, Jacob is the beginning that followeth, and right before that it says um, that Jacob has his hand on that heel. And right now we're pulling them down, but with this word through the spirit, the spirit of Yahweh Shemuel Shai. Jeremiah 51 and 20, you know, says, you know, with thee, you know, being the battle axe, with thee will I destroy kingdoms and, and nations yeah, and done. such. Done. So it's it's through the through, and, and not only the other prophets, you know, you're fulfilling prophecy and being out here, but this word, we're, we're you know speaking out of the word, you know, and the word is, is what's consuming this place, done. you know. So this is the account of uh, when they were trying to. This is uh, e they were in Egypt, right? And this is um. And basically, they were trying to get rid of our seed, which is the same thing they do now with uh, Planet Parenthood, yeah, Parenthood yep. which is uh, uh, Margaret Sanger. The same thing they do with uh, feminism, with Jen, uh, Jen Stagman. Okay, they had that feminist spirit, right? Which was she was a um, CIA operative, but then um, Jake or Jake woman was joined unto them. 
You know, that's... There was a certain billionaire, I think it was Jeff Bezos, that donated like $220 million to Planned Parenthood. Oh, yeah, so, no, yeah, right. So black yep. women can have abortions? Yep. Yeah. And so, yeah. and, and that's that's uh, um, against the law, too. You're not supposed to uh, kill thy seed. Okay, so they, they've done that. Why? Because there's too many of them. This, this is the account right that's, here. That's yeah. lucky, if I may. You know, no, get hey, it. That's, that's murder, man. Because upon yeah. uh, when 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 the the, the sperma or the or the seed yeah. hits that egg, there is a if you you know you know we're not into science. However, if you look at a microscope, when 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 that stuff happens, there's a, a burst of light. Uh, there's a burst of light when 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 the seed that's a spirit. Yeah. And, and and the egg hits you know hits each other. Hey, that's that's uh what's the word? Uh, uh, life, you know, that's yeah, what life is yeah. for. Yeah. So what it, when you when you when you destroy that seed, yeah. or when you destroy that, that's that's called murder, right? Gotcha. That's actually in the scripture, bro. Hey, so, the water, yeah, yeah, the water. That's, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. But, oh, you got it. No, 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 get it out. Okay. I'm pretty All sure right. that's the one. Right. <laughs> All right. Second is eight and verse eight. It says, "When the body is fashioned out in the mother's womb, and thou givest it members, thy creature is preserved in fire and water." And now, in Saki, in nine months, do thy workmanship and build thy creature, which is spread in her. Like the brother was getting into, you know, whenever that uh, that sperm cell first hits the mother's, uh, you know, that egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The matrix. Eggs, I mean, it's yeah, scientifically yeah. proven, you know what I'm saying, because he's going to have the technology to actually right. see that when it actually happens. Yep. There's a spark that happens. Yeah. And that's yeah. that fire that is going into inside that water, man, which is the mother's womb. So I just want to bring that's that's the water, water bro. Hey, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's conception. Yep. You know, and that's when conception happens. You know, right. not not when the baby comes out. Yeah. And that's 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 the the, the, the flipping yeah. of, of uh, turning what, things upside down. Turning things upside yeah. down. Esau put it in the mind. Oh, if the baby is not born, then it's it's not it's not it's not alive. You know what right. I'm saying? So they they have they feel the need or have the right to be able to destroy that child, man. When the child, the kid has nothing to do. Right. You know, you, it has nothing to do with anything. Yeah. You know, that, hey, that's your how I watch him outside bring forth that seed, right. man. Well, that you taking that away? Yeah. What, is, what does that count you as? A murderer. 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 In yeah. the state of yeah. Maryland, they tried to pass a law or a bill that allows you to kill a baby up to 28 days after they're born. Yeah, yeah. fun. And that's what I was going to get on to. And the reason why they want to be able to do that, because what they do at these Planet Parenthoods, too, is they use the bodies. OK, they use the babies when they when they take the take the womb out. They're able to test on the body parts to be able to bring in forth these GMO foods. You know, these uh, um, all these different abominations far as they do, they do um, a diligent search yep. on our people, and that goes back to the perpetual hatred that they have for Jacob. Going back to Genesis, what is that, 27 and 41, when, when Isaac was, was to go asleep, okay, um, Esau was going to what? Start a, um, to kill his brother, which is the same thing. So when they, when they have these babies, they'll take the babies out of the womb, and what they'll do is they'll do research on them and sell them for organ parts because Esau is through. They can't even have children. Okay, they're they're at they're at a, a decline while we're steady multiplying. And this is what the account goes into Exodus one, Exodus one, and um, I start from seven. And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceedingly mighty. And that's that precept for Hosea one and ten that the nation of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, man. Go ahead. Says increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceedingly mighty, mm. and the land was filled with them. Now they and arose. That's, that's happening now in modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. We're actually multiplying exceedingly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's like chicken the world says we don't die, but we, we multiply. 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 Yeah. Yep. And, and it's the modern day Egyptians who are trying to do this all exactly. over yep. again. Yep. All Damn. over again, going, you know. And so it, nothing new is under Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. Yep. And now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. That meaning he was a tyrant. Okay, he was against the Ahabash, Shai, and his men. Go ahead. And that's it, happening now with uh, uh, Joe Burhead. He's yep. against the prophets of the Ahabah, Shemel, Shai, because yep. we're condemning his kingdom. That's, but what did he say when he first came into office? Yep. Right? He said that um, if, if you don't vote for me, then you're not black, because he likes to call us bywords, which yep. is a nickname that's not, not your real name. Okay? They like to call us uh, Negro, all these different things um, that are not our, actually our name. But he was he, when he was trying to vote, even though we know the voting is uh, rigged, he was trying to um, get forth that vote to get um, Jake on our side, because our people have Stockholm Syndrome from this devil, from the rape, rob, and murdering of our people. So they still love uh, Esau, Edom. You have people still talking about Joe Biden, just give him a chance, That's okay? That's uh, so like uh, uh, King Herod was, was, the, same, yeah, was the same exact way. Yep. You know, had a, 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 a 
you know, when he when he same account, you know, different, but you know, where King Hera went to, to send out uh, yeah, troops to go out and kill everybody that was born yeah. two years yeah. under uh, two younger, years, yeah, under two years, Time. Right? and that's and that's what he wants to do as far as these uh, abortion clinics, yeah, you know what I mean, and then also with getting the woman and the man on drugs, okay, bringing forth the. Uh, um, you know, they call them uh, crack babies and things like that, but with babies with uh, autism and things like that, that's Esau Edom. He's yeah. the one that's to blame blame for that. When you're, when you're, maybe your child has a disability, that's Esau Edom. Poisoning the food, okay, poisoning the waters, poisoning the, the, the whole influence, you know, putting the man in jail, uh, you know, for, for um, you know, you know, people are wicked. We understand that too, but they'll do it for small crimes. Meanwhile, Esau Edom, he's not plagued like others. He's able to get off referring to uh, the crack epidemic that they had, okay? The crack epidemic where Esau Edom put that in the neighborhood, right? And he was able to kill millions of people, yeah. okay? And also the heroin, uh, heroin, the drugs, that, that still messes up our, our people to this day. There are people that are still messed up um, to this day, okay? The, uh, uh, in, in when, when a woman is pregnant, they, they, uh, they're they supposed to get all these, you know, uh, those uh, jump shots. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, yeah. You know, they're supposed to get a lot of jump shots prior to to, to, to give it to the baby. Right. So what is that what is that causing? That's causing uh, birth defects. So when the when the child comes out, right, they got all these uh, uh they don't have know, this full chromosomes. They don't have yeah. they don't have everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and what is that what is that result uh, you know as a result these kids when they come out and they become adults they can't even have kids. Man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you see it's a pattern. Yeah. Like this is this is what they do man. Yep. And that's why it says never trust man. that enemy for like an iron is rusted so is his wickedness. Okay, this devil is never gonna stop doing. He's not gonna say, well, you know, 50 years ago, you know, yeah. I hit him with the smallpox, but now I yeah. changed. No, he's, he's the same yesterday he's, and he's the as same he today. As he is today. So Exodus 1, and this is an account of it, okay? Because this was back in uh, Egypt, right? Exodus 1 and 9, and said unto the people, behold, the people of children of Israel are more mighty than we. So again, that's showing you the covetedness of, uh, of this king. That's also an example of, uh Pharaoh acknowledging that we're better than him. Yeah, yeah. Because he, he, he just said that. They're mightier, <laughs> mightier than me. Yeah, than me. Mightier, yeah. That's the spirit. Yep, yeah, as babies. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so Exodus 1 and 10. Come on and let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. Yeah. So wisely also goes into... Um, cunning. Yeah, cunning. Yeah, cunning. Yeah, going back to that cunning hunter. That, that serpent. Yeah, that serpent. Because because they don't just come out and outrightly tell you they're going to yeah. do something. They have to trick you with their gradualism. Okay, with their deceit. Because again, that, that is one of their tools of uh of, the, of that great sword and that okay. deceit comes with benefits yep that's yeah you know free money yeah the riches that they have right now yep. because they make money off these abortion clinics they make money off when when jake kills another brother in the street yep. they're, the, they're the first person they make money off everything they do that's all you got to do is look at the drugs the drugs in the community and then you look at the when they go to when people go to prison Right, you have to pay the judge. You have to pay the lawyer. People are sending you money. Then you, then um, uh, even your phone calls. Okay, they're taxing that. You know what I mean? Just yeah. for a regular phone call, it might be one minute. It might be three dollars yeah. or something like that. So but, they're making yeah. money off that. Yeah. Then those 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 neighborhoods that they have when they have the, the penitentiaries, they're all filled with Esau. Mm. And then some, they'll have some Jake in there that watch over them. You know, but they'll basically a lot of them will be the the Uncle Tom. They, you know, they, 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 they own the prison. Yeah, they own the prison. And they get Uncle paid uh, <laughs> by the state. The, the state gets paid by the federal government per day per inmate. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. So every, every 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 inmate has a has yep. a, a, a amount over their Cunt. head. You know. Because yeah. and they're making money off the commissary. They're yeah. making money off everything. Yeah. Because everything, even like a, a, some noodles, you might say, okay, that's that's like twenty five cents. You know what I mean? And there, it might be a dollar for each one. So they're they're, they're taxing for that. Okay, and another thing um, that they had a couple, well, this was probably like 10 years ago or whatever, they had, there was an overpopulation of the jails, okay? And why are they overpopulating them? Because they're making money. They're making about $120 a day off each inmate. They don't care if, you, if you're stacked on top of each other. So they again, profit. that's why Esau Edom got to pay. They profit. They profit off of death. Man. Yeah, everything. You know, they so profit off of everything. Uh, you, you uh, Jake kill another Jake in the hood. You know, first thing you they you know, are people, you know, you got the, the service, you know, the memorial, whatever the case may be. Oh, it's very the, somebody, the, yeah. the uh the how, uh, what's the home? The uh, funeral home. The funeral wakes, homes. The wakes. You know what yep. I'm saying? Hey, it's all going back to the, it's all going back to Esau. And the bury sum is about ten thousand dollars. Okay, seven thousand to ten thousand dollars to bury someone, and. Yeah. 
and and what uh, this is another thing they do is they'll come in the, the they'll come in the ghettos, the barrios, and the reservations, and they will have um, these insurance people where they'll pay for um, basically your life insurance. You know what I mean? And what they'll do is they'll go in the hoods and they'll knock knock off people, and then now they're getting paid too. So again, and there's a lot more wickedness. We could go on and on. The the when you say life insurance, life insurance, man, when you uh, on your likelihood to, it's, they're pretty much uh, putting your life on a, on a scale, so to speak. Yep. You know, and they're saying if you if the, if the likelihood of you living to 65 or whatever retirement is, oh yeah, they rate you, or, or, or you know, vice versa, they, they kind of rate you. Yeah. You know, they put in, they put in a, almost like a credit score over your head based on how you how you operate, how you conduct your life. If you're a drinker, if you're a smoker, and they raise the prices up for that, yeah. for even just for life insurance. So, this is uh, Exodus one and ten. Come and let us deal, and that's that. Those are um, examples of them dealing wisely with them, lest they multiply and come to pass. Then, when they falleth out of any war, they join us also unto the enemies and fight against us. See, that's what they that's what they don't want. That's what they fear. Yeah, that's what they fear. Uh, Judah and Ephraim coming back to to condemn, you know, the heathens. Psalms yep. of the eighty third chapter, and also Ezekiel thirty seven and sixteen. That those yep. spiritually dry bones waking up. To be able to have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and spiritually waking up, because we, we were dead from the neck up. Yep. Okay, why? Because we didn't know who our true power is. That's why they had the slave Bibles. Yeah, that's okay, that we didn't know who that we were talking about. We were Mexican. <laughs> we were talking about we were black. Right. You know, we we're uh, if, we, if we were deep. Yo, know, I'm a Christian. Yeah. You know what I mean? Catholic. But yeah, we, I go to church every Sunday. <laughs> okay, <Right. laughs> but, but that's nothing. You know, I always read Psalms 23. You know what I mean? So. And then John that, that, yeah, John, the yeah, John 3, 16, you know, he, he loves everybody. And that's the vibration of uh, why they let the man on man, woman on woman, because God loves everybody, which is not true. Romans 9, 9 and 13 tells you that, that um, uh, Esau or Jacob he loved and Esau he hated. Yep. Okay. And when you hate somebody, that, that's, a, that's a perpetual hatred. And it's a righteous hatred. Yeah, it's a righteous hatred. Because why? Because he's profaning outside the temple. Okay. Exit, uh, that's uh, Hebrews 12 and 16. Exodus uh, 1 and 10. Come and let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply and come to pass that when they fall out of any war, they join us into the enemies and fight against us. And that's what we're doing on the highways and the byways. The servants of Yahweh Bashim Rashai are standing, standing in that great army. Okay, that great army standing on our feet. What? Prophesying, pro making, it, making it public, making it known who, who, we, who we stand for. We stand for righteousness, which is and the power um, of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, right? So join us into the enemies and fight against us, and so get them out of the land. So again, he wanted to exterminate our people. 11. Therefore they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens, and they built for Pharaoh treasure cities and Pathum and Ramses. Yeah, Pathum and Ramses, those are examples of the, uh, okay. the, uh, the, the Egyptian pyramids. Oh, okay, cut. Yeah, those are the pyramids. Right. And also, so, and again, those taskmasters are what? The same same thing kind of we have right now. Our, our, our managers, yep. you know, our supervisors yep. or whatever. The CEO of your company. Yeah, the CEO of your company. He's telling you what to do. Hey, you come in at this time yeah. or, or you're done. Okay? Yeah, they give you certain uh, lunch breaks. Yeah, you know, 30 at, minutes. At 12 p.m., uh, yeah. 15 minute break. Yeah, kind of. And if you yeah. pass over that one minute, uh, that taskmaster's yeah, on your ass. We get like a little warning. Yeah, you get a, a, a rebuke, or you could get fired, yep. or, or he'll embarrass you in front of the, uh, in front of his, uh, you know, his uh, people. Your, your, your teammates. So yeah, his speak. teammates. Yeah. yeah, your your co, you know, your co okay. Yeah. And there's some federal jobs that when yeah. when when you get that job, you that's a, that's a taskmaster in itself because when you when you when you uh, go against the grain as far as that that, that company or whatever, hey, that could that could literally ruin your your entire life, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, if you get like a uh, uh, they pretty much they it's it's a uh, uh, pretty much they, they they let you go. Yeah. But then your likelihood of you being able to get another federal job is almost it's impossible. Yeah. It's almost like having a, a record. Because yeah. that's why they have um a thing called uh, what, what is it uh references. Yeah. So you yep. go back to your references. They look back and they say, well, what happened? They're not supposed to tell you yeah. whatever that happened, that's but they, they still they do. That's for your the, the phone number of your references. Yeah. The name of your references. So if anything happened, you had a bad account with with one of those people over there. Then they, what are they always reprimanding you? That's a sign of uh, those taskmasters. So I want to get That's that. Um, I want to get those Exodus one and eleven. So it said. Uh, you get the, uh, the blue letter Bible. Yeah. Uh, well, Pithom, uh, Pithom, which means the city of. And this is in the Hebrew sixty-six nineteen in the blue letter Bible. Python, which means the city of justice. 
It says one of the store cities which the Pharaoh made the Israelites build. Uh, so <laughs> and we're building his kingdom. Yep. The concrete. Yep. You Even know? back then, uh, we were building all their, um, you know, their, their to, uh, not their tombs, so, but their pyramids. Their pyramids. Yeah, all their pyramids. Anything, Egypt, the last time it was great was when we were there. Yep. Okay, why is America great? Because we built it off the yep. blood, sweat, and tears of our people. Look at our, um, I just saw a thing over there in uh, Mexico, not in Mexico, but it's actually like right before the border. Okay, it's in San Diego at the bottom. Um, I forgot what it's called. So but, San Isidro? Yeah, like San, yeah, San Isidro. Yeah. So there's a warehouse out there. And basically, the people were working for mid, um, you know, mid-level, mid-ranges, uh, not mid-ranges, but the the minimum, the bare minimum, right? And they weren't paying them for their uh, for their pay. They weren't paying them for their overtime or anything like that. So then they had to go to court and to be able to sue them. And that shows you that's another thing where they go off is where they don't. They're supposed to pay um, every day, every day yeah. that you work. Okay. Yep. That's the law. Yep. And then also, I want to get another. So that Pethum means uh, the city of justice, right? Their justice. And Ramses goes back to the child of the sun, a city in a lower Egypt built by the Hebrew slaves, probably in It says Gushers. built by the Hebrew slaves. Yep. And right now we're, we're the modern day Hebrew slaves, man, yep. here in captivity. Because again, we are those, uh, as it speaks about in James, I think that's five and four, where it speaks about we are those laborers that are going to start what to turn back against these, uh, these rich people. Why? Because, tyrants. yeah, these tyrants, because of what are they doing? They're constantly, they're raising up the gas prices, which is all set, um, that's basically a blockade and siege, a military tactic. They're raising up the food. People are not even, they're raising up, they're not even going to be able to move. Well, these are examples of uh, uh, waging war against us, bro. Yep, against the people. They're trying to destroy our people, man. So-called Negro, Latino, Native American men and women, mainly and primarily of the left. So this is Exodus 1 and 12, but the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied. Yeah, so the more that <laughs> the, the more that Amalek afflicts us daily with his uh, you know witchcraft, we get we actually get stronger, bro, yep. in the spirit. You know, because we're actually fighting back, you know, to, to keep our seat, man. Okay, which is the promise of the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew, they were grieved because of the children of Israel. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. Okay. So I want to get that word. I'll keep going. Exodus uh, 1 and 14. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage. It says, and, and they made them the, their lives bitter. Yep. What does bitter mean in the, uh, in the modern day Latin word? America. Yep, America. Yeah, I want to get that word uh, rigor. I got it right here, bro. Bring oh, yeah, it bring it out. Right now. It says, rigor, a harsh inflexibility in opinion, a temper, or judgment. Yeah, so uh, harsh. So yeah. it's harsh when you got to wake up every day and go to work for basically minimum wages. Then if you have a um, if you have a woman, say you say you married her into the system, now you have alimony. Or if you have children, then you have to get that. Then also your ta also your tax on top of that. I got one more. Okay. It says the act or instance of strictness, severity or cruelty. Done. And that's what it says about Exodus. I'll read it again. One, one more, and thirteen. More, bro. It says it a condition that makes life difficult challenging and uncomfortable God. and we were speaking about this when we got in the car these people are driving crazy right they're, they're, they're going slow they're, they're all they're they have that beetle juice in them you know what i mean they don't even know where they're going and half of them be uh they be they be have the mask on yeah. you know what i mean and that's a constant vexation of spirit especially if you got to go to work right or whatever that you're doing again that's to serve rigor right or let me exodus 1 and 13 and the egyptians made the children of israel to serve with rigor and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage and mortar and brick and all manner of service in the field and all their service wherein so this is hardcore bondage yeah. you know they were building uh, these pyramids but and now this like is a, the modern day bondage is uh, it's in your mind yeah in, in your spirit man. spiritually now that's how Esau Edom's uh, able to attack us man via the spirit this is uh, the book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 27 and the kingdom and dominion and great greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, uh, who's, Salakia, hold on. Salakia, let me, I'm trying to find where it says, uh, oh, here it is, verse 25. And uh, I'll start verse 24. And, and the 10 horns out of, out of his kingdom are 10 kings that shall arise, and another shall rise after them. And he shall be diverse from the first, and he shall subdue three kings. And he yeah. shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the yeah. Most High. And yeah. we're, we're worn out, man. Right. You know, so hey, he's wearing out he's wearing out the saints. And it says, and things to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time, times, 
and the dividing of time, you know? So, hey, yeah. that's that that's that rigor, yeah. you know, that, that is speaking of, hey, wearing us out, man. You know, but hey, through the spirit, it, 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 it's strengthening us, yep. you know? It's, it's, it's getting us to a point where we hate Esau even more, man. <laughs> yeah, that's you know? True. That, 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 that perfect hatred. That's why I kicked, yeah, just like kicked Debbie, yeah, uh, Psalms 139 and 22, that perfect hatred because you know why. When you're in this truth, you know why you actually hate him because you, you're you seeing every, how about Shema is opening your eyes, blessing your eyes for you see and your ears for you hear, and he's giving you that light, which is that wisdom in a dark place because again this is known as the valley of shadow of death also job 10 and 21 the land of darkness which which is what all confusion so exodus yep. 1 and 15 the king of egypt spoke to the hebrew midwives in which the name of the one was shapara and the name of the other paya and he said when do we uh, when do the office of the midwife to the hebrew women see them upon their stools if it be the son then they shall kill him but it shall be a daughter then they shall live so why is that because it goes back to the lineage of your um of your father okay and the wives become what concubines okay and then they have they make seeds with them and then that be, that's that's esau okay it, it, it talks about and an, uh i want to say uh tobit i forget exactly where exactly but where it says you know uh or uh Slakia, uh i think it's nehemiah the 13 chapter if, I, if i'm not mistaken or you, you shouldn't be giving the, your men over to these that's other like, nations or your, your like, sons to the, like to the wives of these other nations. Yeah, yeah, vice versa. Yeah, cut. You know what I'm also saying? Also not go what, to the Canaanites. Yeah, but that's what they was doing, right? They was giving, uh, they was sparing the, the, the daughter. Why? So that these other nations, the Egyptians, can lay hold and their seed continues. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they were trying to kill off the man. Yeah. You know, because they didn't want they didn't want us to prevail. You know right. what I mean? Showing you that they knew the generation goes through the men. Right. Okay. Yeah, well, the, the whole purpose guys, of the, uh, the Egyptians was to slay the, uh, the firstborn. Huh. So Exodus 1 and 17, but the midwives feared our power, Yahweh, and did not as the king of Egypt commanded thee, but saved the men and children alive. And the king of Egypt called for the midwives and said unto them, why have you done this thing and have them and have saved the men and children alive? And the midwives said unto Pharaoh, because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women. Hey, that's, hey, that's, that's, think about that, bro. Uh, live, lively stones. Think about it. The, 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 the Hebrew woman is not like the, the Egyptian woman. You got, you got, our women are, are clamorous as, as hell. You know, they like, uh, you know, and, we, they, they, and at that time, hey, they feared the Most High. Yeah. They said out of the fear of the Most High, they did not uh, uh, listen to the king. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, you know, our, our women are very, you know, uh, 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 prideful. They were in a whole different but they were, spirit. But they was in a whole different spirit. But they, you, you, you notice they made emphasis on the fact that uh, they said uh, the, the Hebrew woman is not like the Egyptian woman. Why? Because, hey, that's, we, we those lively stones. Yeah, right? There's that difference between There's the that Egyptians difference. and the Hebrews. That's right. <laughs> So let me uh, bring it back. I'll bring it. So Exodus 1 and 19, and the midwives said unto Pharaoh, because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women, for they are lively, and they are delivered unto midwives coming unto them. Okay? Therefore Yahweh dealt our power well with the midwives, and the people multiplied and waxed very mighty. And it came to pass because of the midwives feared Yahweh that they made them houses. The, the, the midwives feared Yahweh. They feared yep. So uh, our woman had a way of uh, uh, high level spirit back then, man. Yep. Now, the modern day times are women, they don't even fear you how about Shemel Shai, man. They, they don't even fear uh, the man over them. Uh, no. Man, yeah, because yep. they'll, they'll try to. Uh, They'll try to whoop your ass, and they know they can always call. They can call on um, Esau. Esau. Yep. They'll call him right up, and that's called a, a, a DV. Just with uh, hey. three digits, was yep. it? Uh, Nine one one. Yep. Right. <laughs> it says uh, twenty two. Exodus one and twenty two. And the Pharaoh charged all his people, saying, Every son that is born, you shall cast into the river. And he every said, Every son that is born. It's not every woman, because uh, Pharaoh knew that your uh, lineage, your blessing came from, from the, uh, the, the men. The yep. Yep. Goes back to uh, Numbers one and. 18 that declared their seed by the uh, pedigree of their fathers yep. right and the Pharaoh charged all of his son people saying every son that is born you shall cast into the river and every daughter you shall save alive so again that's the account of what Esau Edom is still trying to do to this day showing you that there's nothing new that's under the sun oh, back to uh, 2nd Peter bro uh, in verse uh, 2 and 6 Hey, now, it, uh, I forgot who, who, who said it, but it says, call 911, your, your yeah. daddy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, that's, that's Esau, yeah, man. Yeah, hey, yeah. what's that? What's that, John 844? Oh, you are you know, a your, your father? Hey, yeah. yep. bro, call on your, your daddy. Call on, <laughs> hey, 
You call on your guys, I call on mine. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's hey. what uh, King David told uh, Goliath. Yeah. You come in the name of, of your God, or we come in the name of Yahweh Shema Shai, man. Elijah in the first Kings is, it did the same thing. You know, where uh, everybody, you know, it was like 450 men who was calling on other gods. And he was like, he was the only one. Damn. He was like, hey, you call on your gods, and I'll call on mine. Let's see who rains fire down from heaven. Yeah, that's bold. You know, bro. hey, that's bold. That's, that's a bold, bold statement. Hey, Man. but that was hey, that's the spirit. So watch yeah. for that for that uh, comment. That's your fault. Yeah. Uh, so, Second Peter two and six. All right, if you got something, bro, you can bring it out. Okay, let me let me get this real quick. This is uh, First Peter, because we were speaking about those uh, lively stones. Right, First Peter two and five. So it reads First Peter two and five. Yeah, also lively stones. Are built up a spiritual house and a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yahweh by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Wherefore also it contained in the scripture, Behold, a lay of Zion, a chief cornerstone, a lay precious. He that believeth in him shall not be confounded. Some lively stones, man. Hey, everywhere, everywhere Jake go, man. Yep. You know, life, life of the party. Yep. You know, that's anyway, salt. And that's that salt, man. That um, that house you know? that uh, uh, Matthews, I think that's Matthews 5, where that house that can't be hidden. Right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, going back to, you know, back into Exodus, when you're know, talking about the, the, the women, the Egyptian women, hey, back then, they, they of lively stones, man. And, and, and it's different because they was in the right spirit back then. Yeah. However, you know, to a certain level, man, the, the women are just, uh, they was just different. They carried themselves different. Like, yeah. you can tell, you can look at it and be like, oh, yeah, she, 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 she. Well, that's Eve right there. Because it speaks about in the scriptures, uh, <laughs> yeah. a woman shall surpass a man. And that's what happened. Esau, Edom kept building building yep. up the women just like the we were speaking about the feminist movement you know putting the woman above the household that's how our our, our people started to be disobedient because even if you go back to the 50s probably the 50s and the 60s people were they were loyal yep. okay they were loyal to a to a certain extent it didn't start until the 1970s when you had the the, the hippie era the yep. hippie era when our people started going off man and that's the same year where the uh, Abu Bivens came on the scene. Yep. Uh, right. The early 1970s to uh, proclaim and prophesy the downfall of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah modern day. Sure. This is uh, 1 Peter 2 and 7. Unto yes. therefore which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same as made to the head of the corner. Right? And that's speaking about Yaharashai. And out of Israel there is an elect. We know that Romans 11 and 7, it says the rest were blinded. Yep. Two thirds of our people are going to be blinded. Um, you know, so your, your cousin might not get it. I know when I came into the truth, I started telling everyone, hey, you're Israelite, hey, you're yeah. this, you're that. And as you uh, go more and more, uh, you know, in the truth, um, you realize. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, how I said, do not cast your perils before the yeah. first line, man. Yeah, because you want to. It's not, it's not to disrespect your family members, but that's a, a wise statement. Yep. Not to give, uh, be given the truth to everybody else, man. Yeah, because um, they're not going to get it, and ultimately yep. they'll they'll try to. Those are going to be the ones that come up against you yep. in the latter days when they come up with those incentives. That's uh, Luke twelve fifty one, man. Uh, division amongst households. Yeah. Your cousins going against you, your family members going against you, and also a, a man's foe shall be of his own household, as we're yep. about to see uh, coming up, approaching uh, Jacob's trouble. Yep. So. This is a first Peter one and seven in the middle, which the builders disallowed the same as made the head of the corner and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word. Hmm. So the word is Yahushai. Okay, he's known as the word that's in uh, Revelation. Yeah, Yahushai, he's the ultimate stumbling block, man. Yep. That's why uh, Hebrews uh, four and twelve, where it speaks about the word is like a two edged sword cutting asunder, piercing the hearts of those that um, the believe not. Yeah, the believe not. Yep. And that also goes into Isaiah 8 and 14, that, that stumbling block that um, that people are going to get caught up in that what that gin or that snare. Okay? Because again, uh, um, a lot of people, even back then, they hated Yahweh Shai. Yep. Why? Because he's giving order. But also because he was performing miracles. Yeah, okay, and, and you know, Jake doesn't like seeing another Jake being above him. Yeah, shine. yeah they don't want to see Jake shine. Yep. That's why you see, um, whenever that you see someone shining in the hood, um, even at a low level, right, you'll see maybe a drug dealer, they're shining, right? What happens? Another drug dealer will end up killing them. Why? Because they don't want to see any, uh, uh, crabs, in a, uh, crabs in a bucket. And that's an example of uh, Isaiah, the 13th chapter, it says uh, Judah should not envy Ephraim, yep. and Ephraim shall not envy uh, Judah, man. Done. And when you come into this truth, you realize... Uh, that you're the, at the same level, bro. Yeah, we're at yeah. the same, we're the and, same and people. The spirit, same people, We're man. the same people, because if you think about our foods, if you think yep. about our style, our cars, even even uh, the, the type of women that we deal with, 
Okay, yep. it's not it's not like Esau. Esau is is, is a uh, a, a, a flapjack. Yeah. <laughs> the way we dress, the way we talk, the way we move. Yeah, the way we. It's all with salt, man. Yeah, it's all with salt. See, Esau don't have no salt. He'll come in with a, a suit. You yeah. know what I mean? Wrinkle. Yeah. Be, 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 be in a room with a whole bunch of Edomites in it, and, and you walk in being a Jake. Yeah. All eyes turning. Yeah, all, all eyes turning. Because when I lived, I lived in Vermont, right, yeah. for a little bit, and Vermont was basically all uh, Edomites. Right. And so when I went there, it was just to get all the women and everything like that. You could already tell. And also, when we be out here, um, when we see the people doing the line dancing, you yep. can, you know, you can tell they're all Esau. <laughs> Those saw. Uh, so, yeah, they're not those uh, lively stones. That's the point that we're trying to make. First Peter one and eight: A stone of stumbling, a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, wherein to also you were appointed. Right? It says, "But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, peculiar people." So a, a peculiar goes into a uh, special. Look at our people. Um, far as look at the athletes. Yep. You know, in every sport we dominate. Okay. So soccer, you have uh, in soccer you have the uh, tribe of Asher, yep. who's dominating that sport. In football, you have uh, Judah and uh, Benjamin yep. dominating that sport. In boxing, you have uh, Ephraim and Issachar, yep. and, and Judah dominating uh, you know that that sport. Yep. And everything that we um, everything that we do that we put our mind uh, inventions. Yep. You know all the inventions. Now Esau has the patent. Yep. Okay, but all the inventions is from Jake. It tells you that in the book of Jeremiah and in the book of Numbers how Jacob he's the former of both things. Yep. That's the beginning of all invention. Huh. Why? Because that, that's from our power, Yahweh Shimei Shai. What nation is so nigh unto them? You think you think Esau had the intelligence to to create a, a, a light light bulb? Come uh, on, yeah. Hey, that was Jake, man. Yeah. Well, even, the even, the even the <laughs> yeah, they can't. Yeah, the reason why Jake is the of all things, that goes back to the Allah Hayat. Sure. Yep. 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 Yeah. Because again, it goes back to that first church that where um, Yahweh gave the decree to Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai gave the decree to the Allah Hayat, which are the angels, okay? Which would have, that also says, uh, you know, if, if we make it to the end, we were with them from the beginning, basically, uh, right? So First Peter 1, uh, so okay, First Peter 2 and 9, but you are a chosen generation. So again, chosen. Okay, and out of that chosen, there's an elect. Chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, peculiar people that should show forth their praises of him who had called you out of darkness into a marvelous light. So again, yeah. we were in darkness means confusion. Yeah. Okay, again, we were calling ourselves black. We were it, calling it, ourselves it Indian. Mean, real quick, it also means uh, ignorance. We were once ignorant. Yeah, yeah. Of huh. being in this in this wicked, wicked society, man. Yeah. Uh, a perfect example is um, the foods. Yep. We were uh, eating pork, uh, uh, shrimp, uh, lobster, yeah, uh, octopus. Yeah. Poor people food. Yep. yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> even <laughs> what's it called? Those are those are scraps. You yeah. Know, given to us, you know, as leftovers. Yeah. And we, you know, being Jake, being Jake, you know, you make do with what you got. Yeah. What's you the know, um, the pig's guts? Uh, uh, chillins. Chillins. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So chillins. That was a form when we were basically we had nothing. We were in slavery, and we made that uh, you know basically one of our delicacies when you go to a, a Jake home. Okay, they'll make that a delicacy. You know, you'll have that. You'll have a, you'll have um, pig's feet. You'll have yeah. these things that when we were in slavery we were doing. But those are all being in darkness. Okay. Yeah. So going back to, and that's this is all the spirit of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah because again we're not Sodom and Gomorrah doesn't want us to have our true power. Yeah. Okay. You want to get the account, bro? What happened in Sodom and Gomorrah, Genesis 19 chapter? Okay, done. I believe they even wanted to have uh, sexual intercourse with the angels. Yeah. Yep. yep. So that's oh yeah, when he went into the house. Yeah, that's also yeah, going yeah. off, man. But it, but what did Lot say? Oh, just take my. I think he said, he said take my daughter. Take, take my daughters. take my yeah, daughter. Yeah. And but they're like, no, we want those guys. Yeah. <laughs> who's, who's occupying Sodom and Gomorrah? Canaanites. Yep. Oh, yeah. You know? okay. Canaanites. That goes back to the uh, the iniquity of their forefather Ham. Yep. Who, Appeared in on uh, Noah's nakedness, man. Yeah. Right. That's uh, right. And then after that, the Egyptians, they were big homos, man. Yeah. They had uh, makeup and eyeliner yeah, on, man. We yep. Yeah. Yep. You know? And that's that's what modern day Egypt. Yep. And that's what Sodom you see over there. Over again. So like no, no, you got it. No, you got it. Because you, you're right on point. Because that's exactly what we we're talking about. And I was just want to add on to that was, um, you know, the, the stuff that they have in Hollywood. Yep. Okay. Because the Hollywood is a big vibration where everything goes on in the world. Okay, that's why um, you have uh, China over there talking about we don't want no more sissy boys. Okay, and Russia said the same thing. So um, and we're saying the same thing. Yeah, and we're, we're saying want no sissy boys to, the, to the powers of Yahweh Shimei Shai, right? Because again, that's profane and outside the temple. So which uh, Exodus 19? Yeah, Exodus 19. And I can start at uh, 
And if you read, no, it's about Genesis 19, bro. If you read Hebrews oh, yeah. 12 and 16 in the, uh, the NLT or the CEV, it says, lest there be any sexually immoral or godless person as Esau. It gets more graphic, man. Oh, yeah. That's what, that's what he is. He's sexually immoral and godless, man. Yeah. Well, I got it right here, bro. This is yeah, a, He has no morals. Yep. And a person, it also says in what's that, Psalms 14, I'll bring it down. And right when you have no morals, that means you don't have you don't have a standard, bro. For faith. Yeah, for faith. yeah, you'll do yep. anything. You'll lawless. do anything. And yeah. lawless society. And look at look at look at look at look at Babylon, man. Yeah, lawless. It's a it's a lawless society because they they don't live according to the laws of, of the Lord, man. You know, and they and they allow you know you to do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, you that's, can. That's yeah. why the, the, the scriptures say unto the wicked, who are you to declare my statutes, man? Yeah. Because yeah. everything this man Talk says that he uh, that he's built the country on, as far as the. The country being a, a country built on the basis of the Bible, he's right. went against now, man. Yep. Because he is the basis of men. That's why that shows you the power of Yahweh Shimon Shai, that he can raise up the basis of men, uh, uh, cave cave dwellers, right, to be able to be running the world, and people look at them as they're, they're something. That's right? what Daniel and where it says. And Daniel says, uh, uh, is, is this the man that shaketh kingdoms? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what they're going to say that day. Lord yeah. willing, we're of those men. Right? Um, is this the man that done this? You're going to look at David Rockefeller or, or one of these. Uh, George Soros. Uh, yeah, Bill Gates. Okay, his. Uh, so Psalms 14 and 1. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. There, so there's no power. They are corrupt. They have done abnormal, immoral works. Uh, abominable works. Asakia. Yeah, it's water. Done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. Yep. So again, none of these um, these uh, Edomites are going to be able to do good. As we were speaking about, he doesn't change. And it tells you that in the book of Job, how how about Shemuel Shai has generated or created that crooked serpent. That serpent goes back to Esau Edom, man. He's never straight. He's always moving around, being wicked. Yep. And, and it's so a Psalm 14 and 1. It says, the fool has said in his heart. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah, yep. yeah. They're children of fools. Children of base men. Yeah, children of base men. Yep. Yep. Job the 30th and this chapter. Is, uh, the back to brother uh, Ash, what are you speaking about? This is Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, our power, Yahweh said, What has he done to declare my statutes? Mm -hmm. Or that should he take my covenant in thy mouth? So again, he'll pray, uh, Joe Butthead, what did he do? Yeah. He prayed on the biggest Bible. Damn. He swore on the Bible, which you're not supposed to do. And that was a okay. big one too. Like, yeah, he said the biggest thing. Bible in the world, yeah. right? And then he goes to church every Saturday to Roman Catholicism. And then what does he do? He swears in... Um, these uh, man on man, woman on woman, he puts them in a high high office. Yep. You know, you have the admirable uh, li Liventine or something like that. Anyway, she's a transformer, mm. or he, or you know, he, whatever. How you want to say, or she yeah, how you want to say it correctly. You know, that's on you. But the thing is, it's not what it not what it was born. Okay, so this is song, and that shows you things turning upside down. Psalms 50 and 16. But unto you, the wicked, it says, but unto the wicked, our power. Yahweh said, What thou hast I done to declare my statutes, or thou should take my covenant in thy mouth? Seest thou hatest instruction and cast my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, when thou consentest with him, and hast been a partaker with adulterers, thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. So again, these devils, they frame the deceit. There's a, those are the accuser of thy brethren. What do they do? They call us great robber murders, which actually our people got that from them. Okay? To be like that, that wickedness, that, that drug dealing spirit, that gangbang spirit, that's all from Esau Edom. Okay? Psalms 50 and 20. And thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thy own mother's son. So again, um, you know, Esau is our brother, but he is what? He's on the other side. He's the two nations uh, that are fighting in the boom, a room in Rebecca. Okay? It's one nation to uh, honor and one nation to what? Dishonor. Okay? This is, I'm sorry, I don't, I, yeah, go ahead, but this, this is referring to when you was uh, talking about, I'm trying to find a scripture, but uh, when you said uh, Joe Boyhead, you know, put his hand on the, on the, on the, on the Bible. Yep. And, oh yeah, and, I can bring it right. And, and no, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And this is uh, James 5 and 12. Yep. But, uh, but above all oh, yeah, things, yeah, yeah. my yeah. brethren, swear not, neither mm. by heaven, neither by earth, yep. neither by any other oath, yeah, swear. Yep. but let your yea be yea and your nay be nay, lest ye fall into con condemnation, mm. right? Hey, so. You know, when you put up in, in court or you, you you're making this oath, you know, like a lot of these presidents do. Yeah. What are they doing? They not they not they not validating or uh, or standing on on the scripture. You no. know, they're going against the scripture by doing that. Yeah, because you know? yeah, because their God is actually Satan. Okay, their God is is Satan. They worship Satan. They don't worship uh, Yahweh by Shimei or Shai. They worship actual Satan and the wickedness that he pushes forth on the left hand side. So you want to get Genesis 19 or you want to go? Oh, real quick, I want to back up the brother with the word oath. It says oath in the uh, compact Bible dictionary. Yeah, it. it says oath, a solemn appeal 
And what does the word solemn mean? A serious, right? A serious appeal to Yahweh, a person or an object to witness the truth of a statement or of the binding character of a promise. And it gives you examples. It says, uh, Genesis 21, 23, it says, some oaths were simple. Some elaborate various formulas and ceremonies. Again, an oath means, uh, you know, you being a witness unto the Heavenly Father, man. Right. And that's what Esau has done. He's, he's trying to be a witness, but yeah, how about you know, Shai actually has his two witnesses, which is uh, Judah and Ephraim. So we're And uh, so this is a... Uh, day, waist deep at all times. We have strong currents in the area. So again, this is a... Uh, this is a, this again, is an account. What has he done? He's he's basically turned the scriptures into a lie. Yep. You know, yep. teaching false doctrine, raising a false report, yep. and that goes back to the law. Well, that's why, real quick, that's why a lot of our people don't believe in, in the power. They're 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 atheists. Yep. You know what I mean? And they don't want to. They don't they don't go to the churches. That's why you see a mass exodus uh, from the church. church yeah. Yep. Because they know church is wicked. Right? This is Exodus 23 and 1. Thou shalt not raise a false report. Put not thy hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. And that's what this man is. He's an unrighteous witness, man. And what have our people done? They followed a multitude to do evil. You know? Exodus 23 and 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment, man. And what are they doing? They're following... You know, uh, themselves in the harlot's houses, you know, worshiping Cesare Borgir, you know, a lot, you got a lot of Jake celebrating Ramadan right now. Yeah. You know, the unholy month. Yeah, they're on that, um, what is that, the chemotology? Or yeah, the Muslim, you know, they think that they're Muslims, you know, because again, in the, in the prison system, that's what they have. They have, um, you know, Chris, it's either the fake Christian, right, yeah. the Jesus Christ, uh, white, white Jesus spirit, or you have uh, to be a Muslim. Okay, they don't have they don't have uh, Israelite you know, no, uh, teachings as far as in the script. A lot of time you can't even get the King James version um, scriptures. You get the NIV. Yeah, you get the NIV. Or you get the Jehovah Witness. Yep. Yeah, the Jehovah Witness. And that's yeah. what have a lot of our people too. They're in the Jehovah Wickedness too. Yep. Right. So this is an account of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, um, and I'll just read it. Genesis 19 and 1. And there came two angels to Sodom at even and Lot sat in the oh, gate yeah. of Sodom. Yeah, Lot, that's the uh, the nephew of uh, Abraham, our forefather. Go ahead. Done. Seeing them rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he had said, Behold, now my lords, turn in, I pray you, into the servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and you shall rise up early and go on your ways. And they said, Nah, but we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly and turned into, them, into him and entered into the house and he made them a feast and he did bake unleavened bread. Yeah, so Law was showing uh, respect, you know, honor to the uh, angels of the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. Bake unleavened bread and they did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, can pass the house round, round both old and young, all people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot and they said unto him, where are the men which came in thee in the night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. So again, these these are uh, freaks. Yeah. You know what I mean? They want to know where these uh, two men are at. Um, you know, Lot. Hey, what's going on? He, they're at your door. You know, they're at Lot's door, asking if you know where are these two guys, showing you the the type of uh, uh, fruity pebble uh, stuff they're on. As a spirit, spirit that yeah. if you're going to know, it means to lie with them. Yeah, you know, yeah, going. to lie with them, man. Okay. That's what they want to do. They want to hump them, man. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It says, yeah, uh, yeah, real quick, that's why you yep. burnt that place, man. Yep. yep, we're about to get into that. It says, uh, five, uh, yeah. ex like it, Genesis 19 and 5. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came into the night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. And Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him. And he said, I pray you, brethren, do, do not so wickedly. Behold, now I have two daughters which I have not known men. Let me, so again, showing you that these, these, the two daughters they were virgins yep okay and the virgin means that they haven't been untouched by my actual man gun and lots trying to um let them know hey i have two daughters don't mess with these uh these you know and that's angels. how wicked they were you yeah got, no they still you got, on the they got two prime pieces of, <laughs> two prime pieces of virgins. USDA state, and you man. know they were yeah. ugly and, and, you, know they were and ugly. you want to go after some 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 mud man so, some boots yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know and i believe that were the, that were the jakes following the canaanites right Following the ways of the Canaanites and the Canaanites, 
Uh, I'm not yep. sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Sodom and Gomorrah, you know? Yeah, Sodom and Gomorrah. I'll back you up real quick. This is Genesis 13 and 13. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before Yahweh exceedingly. Yeah. Good job, man. Yeah. Now, that's the spirit of these uh, modern day uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, real quick, I have a testimony. Before I came into the truth, I had a dream where I had the uh, LGBT actually persecuting me, bro. You know, trying to have that, you know, you know fucking demons, man. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That, that's that Sodom and Gomorrah spirit, man. Because yep. again, also with these uh, rituals that they have, when when uh, Jake does get into as far yep. as like having any sort of money, I guess, or, or status, what do they have to do? They have yeah, a, dress. they ha yeah, they have yep. to have three doors, right? Either the door of, of being a man on man transformer, or or, or, or sacrificing one of your uh, family members, yep. okay, or or being a buck break, which is being a humiliation yeah. ritual. Yep. Open humiliation. Yeah, yeah, open humiliation yeah. ritual, and that's what that was with um, uh, K, uh, K Rock, Chris Rock, okay. Yeah. You know, because to be in this society, you have to be wicked. And that's how you're able to be uplifted. Because at the same time that that thing happened, he won a Grammy and he never won a Grammy. Or not a Grammy, but a, a, a was it Oscar? Oscar. What, yeah, Oscar. Yeah, so he never even won. But what he had to do, he had to be embarrassed by his wife, called a simp. Humiliated. Humiliated. But that's, that's a sign of uh, buck breaking, which is the same thing they used to do back in slavery. Okay. Uh, it's like it. Uh, uh, you said uh, uh, Genesis 13 and 13. Yeah, Genesis 13 and 13. 13. And 13. Oh, no, no, no. Did you finish on that? No. Uh, we're almost done with that. Okay, concrete. Yeah, just a little bit. Go ahead, bit. finish that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to finish. Okay. Yeah. Genesis 19 and 8. And behold, now I have two daughters which have not no men. Let me, I pray, you bring them out of unto you and do you to them as good as in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing. For therefore came thy under the shadow of thy roof. And they said, Stand back. And they said again, this one fellow came into sojourn and he will he will needs be a judge and now we will deal worse with thee than with them. And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. So these, these devils were on the hunt for some um, for some mud. <laughs> right. Genesis, right? And that's Esau. He doesn't take a no for an answer, okay? He's in that wicked uh, spirit. He keeps pushing it on you through the commercials, yep. okay, through this witchcraft and the sorcery, okay? You get, uh, yeah, real quick, yeah, yeah. Real quick uh, Genesis chapter 13 and verse 13. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before Yahweh exceedingly. Yeah, this is, so what was that, uh, wicked and, and sinners? Yeah, right? wicked and uh, sinners, kind of. Right, this is, uh, this is, and this is the, uh, the aftermath. This is the, uh, what's, what's gonna happen to these, to these, to this wickedness. This is uh, Isaiah 13 and 9. It says, Behold, the day of the Lord, Yahweh cometh to prove, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners yep. thereof out of it. Right? Just as he did in the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, he's going to do it uh, 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 times times 100 here yep. in Babylon the Great, man. Right. You know? I will back you up real quick. Uh, say, Rag 16, and I'll start at verse 6. In the congregation of the ungodly, shall a fire be kindled and in a rebellious nation wrath is set on fire and what is that rebellious nation uh babylon man here in america known as the the usa verse seven he was not pacified toward the old giants which are the nephilim which is us who fell away in the strength of their foolishness neither spared he the place where lot sojourned but abhorred them for their pride there you go, man. So because of the pride of Esau Edom, they're all going to get burnt. Yep. The majority because the international bankers are actually going to be reserved for a captivity. And that, yep. pride, that pride, that pride, going, uh, going back to that pride month, yep. that's really for Esau. Yep. Yep. It's not for us. It's not, it's not, it's no, it's for nobody else, but, but they're, it's because of their prideness or their, their, uh, their pride, you know, they made a month out of it, you know, yep. and what is that, what is it pride month referring to? That LGBT, XY, yep. you know, XYZ, and that, that's Esau, yep. you know, profane. Because again, that's a way for them to push their agenda. Because if you start doing that, then you're okay also with um, with uh, you know children, pedophilia. Trying to, trying to make everybody like them. Yeah, everyone yeah, like them. Sure. And that's just showing you that manifesting who this uh, the son of perdition is. Okay, so this is um, this is Sirach. This is an apographer. Ten and three. An unwise king destroyeth his people, but through prudence of them, so cautiousness of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. The power of the earth is in the hands of the Lord Yahweh. In due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. And so, who is that one that's profitable? That's us, Lord's will, man. Huh. We're going to, uh, uh, like it says in the book of Second Ezra, okay, the, the kingdom's already prepared for you, man, yep. and the kingdom's already within us. Huh. 
Because it says um, yeah. two, um, I think that's Revelation 3 and 11, where it speaks about, you know, hold, hold fast to thy crown. Because again, yeah. right now, if you have this wisdom, that is a crown upon your head, but you have to hold on to that's it. That's that spiritual crown, because you're going to have shaitan that's going to try to sift you, you know, trying to shake you. Yep. So your crown can actually fall, which is your wisdom. And you don't want that. You want your physical crown to stay upon your head, man, yep. when your house shall return. Done. What would you do in the day? Uh, be counted worthy of judgment, uh, roughly paraphrasing. So this is Sirach. Uh, it's like a 10 and 4, yep. no, 10 and 5. And the hand of Yahweh is the prosperity, and who is that hand? Yahweh of man, and upon the person of the scribe shall he lay his honor. So again, the honor is, is the comfort of the scriptures. 6. Bear not hatred to thy neighbor for every wrong, and do nothing at all by injurious practices. So again, lead our people, don't lead our people astray. Okay? As far as in this world, you know, don't cover this, don't try to be with another man's wife, all that. All that that's hatred okay but that's what esau pushes this is us sirach 10 and 7 pride is hateful before yahweh and that's esau he's a proud man right and yahweh and man and by do by both do one commit iniquity so sin upon sin this is eight because of the unrighteous dealings and injuries and riches got by the sea the kingdom is translated from one people to another yeah from esau to jacob israel which is us Done. And some of the unrighteous dealings we, we spoke about far as that happened in Sodom and Gomorrah and all those things, same things are happening right now. Rape, rob, and murder, okay, of our people, stealing our heritage, right? So this is a nine. Why is the earth and ashes proud? There is not more wicked than they that cover this man, for such one set his own soul to sail, because while he liveth, he cast away his vows. Ten, the physician, which is Yaharashai, cut off a long disease, right? Who is that long disease? Esau, Edom. And his wicked, uh, wicked lust, right? Physician cut off the long disease, and he that is the day a king tomorrow shall die. So again, yeah. he's going to be at a low estate, and eventually he will be, after a thousand years of slavery, you know, being be put in those feathers, irons, and chains, a thousand years of being what an um, hardcore slavery, then it will be cut off to stubble, referring to Obadiah um, a one or Obadiah one and eighteen. Yep. So we'll, uh, I'll bring this out because uh, you mentioned. Spot, but, uh, okay. mentioned, you know, talking about the crown, yep. you know, and this crown being, you know, we, it's, it's something, you know, that, that we already possess, but we got, we got to maintain it, you yep. know, and we got to maintain and, and continue to stay in this truth, man, you know, fight the good fight of faith. This is, uh, Revelations 3 and, uh, 11, it says, behold, I come quickly, hold that fast, which thou hast. So hold thou fast, which, I, which thou hast, which means, you know, through the spirit, we already have it. You yep. know, this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding, this, this truth, yep. the name, Names, you know. Yep. And the name is what? A strong tower. And those that run into it are safe. Okay? And that secret place, also Psalms 91, is actually in the scriptures. Yep. Those, these, these, are, these are comforting to know who you are and again to know the name as the brother brought up. Yep. Behold, I come quickly. Hold, thou fast, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. You know? So, hey, you know, Esau and our, and our enemies, everybody up against us. Hey, we can't we can't allow anyone to, to, to strip us, even Satan himself. Yeah. You know, allow him to, to, to strip us of the, of our crown. We gotta be walking like this, bro. That's yeah. right. <laughs> you know, hey. <laughs> you know, so hey, uh, so hey, Lord willing, uh, this is edifying. We're gonna go ahead and, and swap it out. Until next time, hey, shalom. 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 So once again. You know, prophecy, 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 man. You know, these things are moving at an escalated speed the more we get closer to the end. You know, we can see that what we have is the truth, man. Let's go into um, the classic real quick. Just to build it up. Ezekiel 35 and 1, I'm going to read down to 2. Moreover, the word of Adawani Haobah Shemi Ashai came unto me, saying, Son of man, Set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. And what's Mount Seir? Esau, Edom. If you go into that word Seir, it actually goes into the inhabitants of ancient Seir, you know, which is south of the kingdom of Judah. The Edomites. Esau, Edom, and his offspring. You know, anything else, bro? Uh, we'll start out with that. Let me get the next preset. This is Ezekiel 35 and 3. And Santa, it. Thus said the Lord, I don't want to Shai, behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and will stretch out my hand against thee, and will make thee most desolate. And that's what's going to happen to Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great, aka modern day Basra, you know, 
Mount Seir is going to be a burnt government, man. You want to get Jeremiah 51 and 25 after show? Uh, no, Jeremiah 51 and 25. 51 and 25. But I'm going to keep this going in Ezekiel, the 35th chapter. Ezekiel 35 and 4. And will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh Bashim Shot. And that's what Babylon the Great, aka America, is going to be. There's going to be a perpetual desert wasteland, man. You know? I got a scripture for you too, bro. Come. All right. This is the book of Isaiah 13. In verse uh, 17, it says, Behold, I was there of the Medes against him. Right? We know that the modern day Medes is speaking about the Russians. All right. Gog and Magog, and we can see that the Lord is stirring up those Medes, man. You know what I'm saying? There's this conflict between, you know what I'm saying, uh, Russia and NATO, which America is a part of. This is all time in the prophecy, man. All right? Because we know that uh, Russia is going to be that main, uh, one of the main factors participating in the destruction of Babylon. Right? That's why when you read, you know, what is it? Like when you read in Revelation 20 chapter, it speaks about how, you know what I'm saying, God is, uh, what is it, uh, going to burn, you know what I'm saying, Babylon with fire with the paraphrasing, man? Oh, I got right. it right here. Right. Revelation 17 and 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, which is NATO and the EU, which is Russia is not a part of that, right? But we do know that they are going to be a key factor in, you know what I'm saying, using those missiles on this place. That's why the Lord had blessed them with the nuclear power that they got, man, right? Because they're not just plus, you know, flexing that shit for no reason, man. Right? You know, eventually the Lord is going to put the spirit in them to actually use them. He bears not the sword in vain. Exactly, right? Esau bears not the sword in vain, and those Russians, them are Edomites, man. All right, so whatever they got in the arsenals, they they gonna put it to use. All right. Uh, Revelation 17 and 16 in a second, but you mentioned that. Let's just get there real quick. This is Isaiah 54 and 16, and it reads. Ah, uh, slack it. Isaiah 54. Slack it. He'll come back. This is uh, Revelation 17 and 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. And went in today's technology to burn a whole damn country with fire, man. Nuclear missiles. All right. And what the Lord is going to do is he's going to stir up America's uh, allies to turn against it. And we're starting to see certain steps that's leading to that. You know what I mean? Because America always drawn they allies into, you know, conflict and shit like, you know, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And so eventually the Lord is going to make something happen between America and its allies and have them where they hate it, right? Hate Babylon, you know what I mean? And eventually do those missiles on this place, man. This is right. Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. Yeah, who are the modern day smiths today? Temanites. Yeah, you're Germans. Yeah, because what is it, after World War II? Yep. You know what I'm saying? You had the Russians and you also had the United States. They took a portion of those uh, those scientists, man. Germany. Right? And they're the ones that came up with the whole concept on how to split an atom, you know what I'm saying, and make this big ass explosion, man. You know what I'm saying? The atomic bombs, which is nuclear, by the way. They're the ones that came up with that, man. Right? They are, today, they're your, they are your modern day Smiths. Right? This is Isaiah 54 and 16 again. Behold, I have created the Smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster. To destroy and what's going to be that instrument for the Lord's work? Like those thermonuclear, uh, thermonuclear missiles, like Isaiah, I mean, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 25. 25. Read that book, right? Jeremiah 51 and 25. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, which is America. All right, mountains being governments God. and destroying mountains. You know, yep. Esau Edom's destroyed the whole earth, man. Yep. You know, you got chemtrails, you got uh, plastic bottles in the water, you know, poisoning, uh, poisoning people's minds with. Television, yeah. you know. Okay, uh, Jeremiah 51 and 25. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountains, saith the Lord, which destroyeth all the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll down from the rocks, and I will make thee a burnt mountain. Mm -hmm. All right, which is this is all going to lead up to, man. All right, this is going to be the end game of America, Babylon the Great, man. You know what I'm I seen this little picture a little while back. It was showing that Europe was going to be ground zero. But the whole time, according to the Bible, America is going to be ground zero, man. Right? 
All right, this is going to be that place where every single last one of them nuclear missiles that these other countries got, they they going to shoot them over here, man. All right, because as a matter of fact, I'm going to pull this up a little bit. Not this bad. All right, this book of Jeremiah 50 and 14. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm going to start at uh, I'm going to start at 13. It says, because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited. But it shall holy, it's like it be holy desolate. Everyone that go about Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at a place. And what they remind me of is uh, Revelation 18 chapter. Gosh, you know what I'm saying? Because, all right. You want me to get something out of yeah. here? Yeah. Uh, this is Revelation 18. Uh, I'm going to start with the top. Revelation 18 and 1. And after these, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lighted with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every clean, every unclean, and hateful bird. Yeah, so it's going to be a habitation of you know, snakes, rattlesnakes, scorpions, you know what I'm saying? That, that this is what's going to be living here after America's destroyed. Ain't nobody going to come back over here and, you know, set up shop, you know, build here, you know what I'm saying? Because even when you read in Woods, I think it's Wisdom of Solomon, the seventh chapter, this place is going to be made a memorial. Right, memorial for the other nations, you know what I'm saying, to learn after America's mistakes, man. Right, because even when you read in the book of, uh, what's it, 2 Peter, the third chapter, it speaks about how the Lord had made Sodom and Gomorrah an example of those that wanted to live ungodly after, man. You know what I'm saying? What was, what was Sodom and Gomorrah heavy into? The brothers were just touching on that. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, burning after strange lust, man. He stands so stiffly for the doctrine, and the reward is coming for the wicked, man, for destroying the earth, you know, for kidnapping us off the shores of West Africa and bringing us over here, man, for castrations, lynchings, you know, bombings, you know. Even coming over here and, you know, doing what they did to the Northern tribe. God. You know what I'm saying? Because Gad, Gad and Rupert, as well as this part, inhabited this whole continent of America, man. But when Esau came over here, what'd he do? You know what I'm saying? Slotted over, what, like 92 million Native Americans, so-called Native Americans. You know what I'm saying? Hey, ain't no telling how many, you know what I'm saying, Iskarites he done knocked off, as well as Reubenites. You know what I mean? So this man has a whole lot of, you know, he, he's a spiritual debt where you have by Shemal Shah, man. Right, and as a matter of fact, can you grab Numbers 35 and 33? I had it right here. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, this is spirit. This is Numbers 35 and 33. So you shall not pollute the land where ye are. So you shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. For blood is defiled the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein but by the blood of him that shed it. Mm -hmm. yep. So this land is polluted with the blood of the Israelites, man. Because not only did they come over here and slaughter, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a gang of, you know what I'm saying, uh, Northern Kingdom tribes, but they brought Southern Kingdom over here and did even worse and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Was uh, hanging, you know what I'm saying, the Southern Kingdom up on trees. You know, had them tied up against trees and pouring tar on their back and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you had the damn bigger baby. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That shit. With the alligators. The alligators. You know what I'm saying? You had, you know, uh, Esau testing they might, ripping, ripping open uh, the, what, the fetuses with their hands to see how strong they was. You was man, this, this land is covered or polluted with the blood of the children of Israel, man. And the only way this, that this land can be cleansed is by the blood of him who shed it, which is the so-called white man. And that's what's going to happen ultimately whenever this man's kingdom falls, man. All right. Ezekiel 35 and 4, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword, in their time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord, Yehovah Shemiah Shai Power, I have prepared thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. And he's shown you that perpetual hatred that he always had from you, going back to his forefather, man. Really starting with Cain and Abel, man. Right? Because if you can receive it, Cain is Esau in the reincarnation, or Esau is Cain in the reincarnation. All right? And Abel, that's really Jacob, man. You know what I'm saying? And after Jacob, you know what I'm saying? Or so-called finesse east side of his blessing, which is it was set up that way from the beginning because even when you read in Romans the ninth chapter, it speaks about how, matter of fact, not Romans, nah, but it's in the book of, uh, I think it's in uh, Hebrews. It says that he was rejected from the beginning, roughly paraphrasing, man. So this is already set up in 12 and 17. John, he found a place for repentance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't save this devil, man. Yeah, so it was already set up like that from the beginning. Yep. All right. Yeah, yeah, Khan. Khan. Yeah. Malachi 1 and 3. Yeah, but he's showing you that perpetual hatred that he always had for you, man. You know what I mean? You niggas, you know, don't even be doing shit wrong in the car. 
And what do you start doing? He pull out a strap and he snatching us up out of there. If you're lucky, he won't even shoot you. That's because he's always had that perpetual hatred towards you, man. You know what I'm saying? And if you're thinking that this shit is bad now, he, he really finna get ready to show you that, man. All right? This is Psalm 78. He sent in the lurking places of the villages. Yep. In the secret place, don't he murdered the innocent. Yep. So just like how you see how Esau be chilling the cut in the hoods and shit. You know what I'm saying? He park it like, you know, it's in a park or something. Waiting for you, Jason, you know what I'm saying? The speed pass and whatever, so they can pull your ass over. Just, just in your neighborhoods, your communities like him, man. Huh? All right? You got it. This is Psalm 10 and 8. He said, in the lurking places of the villages, in the secret places, doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you Israelites, man. Right? And another thing, too, brothers have been bringing out is that, uh, like, you know, you see in these different major cities like Chicago, a lot of them shootings is not even Jake, man. Right? Because it really ain't even in Jake's spirit to go and shoot up 30 niggas. That, that's Esau, because what the so-called white man does is he basically sets up, you know what I'm saying, like sleeper cells and shit. Sets up sleeper cells and pays them off to go and basically try to wipe out you niggas in y'all hood, man. All right? And he also has, uh, he's been brought out, they have these uh, masks they throw on them. They can, they can, oh, yeah, they can look, yeah, look yeah, like yeah, a Jake. Yeah. There was an actual Edomite lady that ripped off, it looked like her face, and then she was a whole different person, man. Yeah, yeah. And they have masks and, and body suits they could put on to look like Jake. And they, you know? send, they send those people into the hoods to commit crimes. Yep. And then yeah. they put it and they try to put a face to it. Come yeah. yeah. This is Zechariah 11 and 4. Thus said Adamani Yahawabah Shemiah Shai, my power, feed the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, that they may sell. So it's like it. And they that sell them say, and what did he do? Did he sell us? Could he get an uh, extra 21 and 16 for the shot? You know? He, st he, st uh, he stole us and then he sold us, man. You yeah, know? There, there's a punishment for that too. Yep. He should sure surely be put to death, yeah. man. Yep. Yes, we still found on your hands to this day. Gone. 500 years later. All right. Yeah. This is Exodus 21 and 16. Gone. And he that steals the man. And, and he that steals the man. Yep. And sell it him. And sell it him. What, what did he do when he ground us up off the sh uh, shores of West Africa? What did this devil do when he first got over here, man? Yeah. With man. the conquistadors, man. It's, it's a lucky, bro. But you Hamites gonna get it too. Yep. Because y'all was on the same tip that the so-called white man was, man. Amalek. And, we, and we, we don't get on Ishmael. Yeah, we, we, we don't get on uh, ham. We don't get on ham ass enough, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But y'all yeah. gonna get it too. And you, and you Judites, man. You Benjamites, you know, and you Levites, man. You're not fucking African, man. That's a lie that was told to you by Esau Edom, the devil, Shaitan, the white man, man. Yeah. You're Israelites, man. There ain't nothing like that. But want to be like them niggas. Yeah. You know? But I got this. This uh, uh, Let me finish this real quick. Right, Zechariah 11 and 5. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, and they that sell them say, Bless be the Lord Yahweh Shai, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. And that's his attitude, man. I'm rich. You know, he's sitting on old money, man. From you know, slavery from the 17 to 18 to 1600s, man. You know, talk yeah, about you know, get a job, do this, do that, money, so on man. and so forth, man. Niggas got you know? old money. <laughs> this is uh, Joel three and verse one. It says, "For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them uh, down into the valley of Yahweh's pot, which means Yahweh's decision, Yahweh's judgment, right? And what the Lord is going to do." You know what I'm saying? He's going to gather all you heathens, man, primarily the so-called white, man, and he's going to judge you there, man, by having y'all fight each other and kill each other off, man. All right? That's why it speaks about that, that great sacrifice the Lord promised to the fowls of the earth. There's going to be a whole lot of death over there, man. All right? It says, and we'll plead with them there for my people and for my heritage. Yeah, that's the whole purpose of the third world war, man. All right? He will plead with you there for my heritage Israel, man. Right, for what you did to us, that's why the Lord is going to drive you over there so he can judge your ass there, man. Right, and we know that that ultimate judgment is going to be whenever you're throwing in slavery, man. Right, under the children of Israel, starting with your house shot King David, the 12 and the rest of the 144,000 first, man. All right, it says, whom they have scattered amongst the nations and part of my land. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. And this is what they was doing, you know what I'm saying? And going, you know, back to the customs. Like uh, New Year's, man. You know what I'm saying? New Year's, that wasn't the whole celebration of the so-called New Year, man, because we know that in the scriptures, the New Year begins with spring, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, coming about, man. When everything comes back to life, that's when the New Year is.
But what the so-called white man was doing on January the 1st was he was splitting up Jake, man. Jake, Jake's households and shit during slavery. You know what I'm saying? As the scripture says, giving a boy from the heart and so that girl from wine, man. You know what I'm saying? They was giving gifts, you know what I'm saying, to each other. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what? Well, you know, you give me this much wine, I'll give you this, you know, this little, this little, this, uh, this, this nigga boy or whatever, man. This is the type of shit that they was doing, man. It says, yeah, and what have you to do with me, old Tyree and Zidon, and all the coast of Palestine? Will you render me a recompense? If he recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I re uh, return your recompense upon your own head? Because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples and goodly pleasant things. And that's what they did physically as far as the, the, the silver and the gold from the temple, but uh, the nation of Israel is compared to God. silver and gold. Yeah, you know, that's, that's silver only, being the, uh, the northern kingdom and gold yeah. being the, uh, the southern kingdom. That's the only reading the book of Lamentations. I think it's the fourth chapter. It speaks about how uh, we was that more precious than the gold of Ophel, roughly paraphrasing. But now, now we have become them, right, because of the state that we in, man. Huh? All right. And it says the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians, right? We know that the Grecians is the so-called white race, man. Them same people that was ruling in Rome, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, Ephesus, you know, Kalaja. Those same people exist today, man. Them people ain't go extinct. I got that for you. Uh, this is Lamentations 4 and 1 in the NLT. How has the gold lost its luster? Even the finest gold become dull. The sacred gemstones lie scattered in the streets. We're talking about Jake being dead from the neck up, yep. you know. See how the precious children of Jerusalem, worth their fine, worth their weight in fine gold, are now treated like pots of clay made by a common potter. That's exactly how you niggas are being treated here. Yep. Y'all ain't been treated like kings, man. You know what I'm saying? We used to be the most royal people to even walk, man. Look at King Solomon. You know what I'm saying? The damn what was it? The, what was it? What is it? The Hamite woman? Was it the Hamite woman? She thought, uh, she thought Solomon, he was the doorkeeper for Solomon, man. That's how glorious we used to be, man. You know what I'm saying? We used to have class now, you know what I'm saying? You go to the hood, you see the nigga one with her ass out. You know what I'm saying? Ethiopia. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Queen of Ethiopia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When she, when she went to go visit Solomon, mm -hmm. she thought his doorman, you know, was, was, was Solomon because he was decked out. He had the yeah, gold yeah. on. So you, you know, could, you could just dapper, man. You could just imagine how, you know what I'm saying, Solomon was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know how draped Jacob, out. Yeah, draped yeah. out, you know, draped up and dripped out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that, that's that Texas. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's yeah. supposed to be that. But we, 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 that's Jake. That's our yeah. spirit. You know, we just saw the earth, man. We're the, we're the form of all things, man. You, you give something to Jake, Jake gonna make it. Jake gonna make it flavorful, man. Yeah, Jake. Give Jake an old school man. Give him a little bit of money, man. He gonna hook it up, man. Yeah, same right. with same. You give Jake some. Uh, you give Jake some steak. Yeah. Man, you give him a little bit of time, man, and hook that joint up, man, because that's our, that's our, that's our, that's our nature, that's man. That's our nature, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit, you know, we, we, we want to look royal because we go back to, you know what I'm saying, a royal lineage, You like man. the finest women? Yeah, yeah. You that's why the finest we, foods? That's why when you see Jake, they come into a little bit of money, what they do? Niggas get dripped out, man. Yeah. They get all types of Cuban links, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have that shit, you know, BBS out or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Get the, the protects, you know, one of the most expensive watches is what, the, the Richard Mill? You don't really see Edomites getting that shit, man. Jake beginning it earlier. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. What great city? Babylon the Great. We're talking about spiritually. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That, that spiritually dead. Yep. This because is, how you literally the next words say that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Right, which is talking about America. Right? Yeah. Spiritual Sodom and Egypt as the brothers was getting into. Yep. Spiritual Sodom due to the the nasty, perverse shit that these folks is into, just like how Sodom and Gomorrah. Don't say gay. You got a bill called "Don't Say Gay." Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't even you can't even tell your children the natural order of things and then have them go say that in the school system. Yeah, they, they, if you do that, then you're gonna be arrested. They're gonna call you crazy. Yeah, you know, teach teaching teach, teach those kids in elementary school. You know what I'm saying about anal sex and shit. Yeah. You know and I mean? you can't say anything about it. If, yeah, if you, you don't, say if, if you say anything about it, you're a terrorist. You're a crazy one, man. And that's why the Lord's gonna burn this bitch, man. Yep. All right. And spiritual Egypt, because of captivity. God. These other nations, they Egypt, Montezarian in the Hebrew, which means you know bondage. Yep. And America is most famous, you know, or most infamous for having us in captivity. Man. America is the most famous place in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's called Babylon the Great, because yeah. the great judgment is coming to this place. Also, great deliverance, yeah. great awakening. And it's it's, it's, it's it's one of the main kingdoms written in the book of Revelations, man, which is the last book. All right? So it shows that, that that's one of the main characters in the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? Besides, you know what I'm saying, Jacob, of course, man. All right? But uh, this is one more. Uh, Revelation 11 and 9. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their... 
dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another. And what were those gifts? Us. You know? We just read it in Joel the third chapter. Yep. So 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 the boy for wine, you know what I'm saying? You know, girl as well, man. Come. Those and were their gifts. Revelation 11 and 10. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. Mm -hmm. yep. And those same two prophets are back. The southern and the northern okay. kingdom, the yep. two witnesses, man. This is why you're seeing so-called African-Americans, Haitians and, uh, you know, Jamaicans, as well as, you know, the Latinos and the Native Americans raising up, calling themselves the children of Israel because this is prophesied. Like when you read in Ezekiel 37 chapter, you say it goes strictly into that, man. Right, on how, the 44 yeah, yeah, on how we was going to be raised out of that dry bone state, that dead ass state, you know what I'm saying? We was going to come into this light, man. This Drink of this water, be brought back to life by this water, man. I got that for you, brother. This is Isaiah 44 and 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, and my blessing upon thine offspring. Pour water upon him that is thirsty, talking about you spiritually, uh, spiritually, spiritually thirsty. Damn, can't even God. talk. Sorry, you know what I'm saying? Because going back to the world shit, the majority of us, we was looking, you know what I'm saying, for what the truth was. You know what I'm saying? I know I myself can attest to it. You know what I'm got many other people, like the elders in LA. God. They was going into that how like shit. They used to be suffering like thinking. They don't even know why. That's because even when you're reading the book of uh, Song of Solomon, you know what I'm saying? It speaks about how, damn, I don't want to butcher it, but uh, I searched for the watchman, the, the, the one who after my soul delighted. I know you're talking about the watchman. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. yeah I, think it, it, I think it's. Uh, Either that or Ecclesiastes, I think it's Song of Solomon in the third chapter. I'll get it for you, brother. This is Isaiah 44 and 5. One shall say, I am Yahweh, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, taking on a Hebrew name. You know, coming back to your nationality, coming back to who you are. Uh, for I'll stir up your pure mind by way of remembrance. Mm -hmm. You know, and a book of remembrance was opened. Malachi, the third chapter. You know, yep. this is Isaiah 44 and 5. One shall say, I am your house, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord. And that's what you do when you turn into YouTube and you really get into it. You subscribe to Brother's channel. You subscribe to the teachings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Isaiah 44 and 5. And one, it's like it, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto Yahweh and surname himself by the name of Israel. And th that doesn't mean you know, going down to the courthouse like IUIC does and you changing your name to something Van Israel, man. Putting that on the books. That's renewing your spirit, you know, renewing your mind, becoming a new man, man. I got that for you. All right. But uh, going, going back, Solomon. going back, you know, what is it? In Ezekiel 37, you spoke, or you brought it out, or how we shall never thirst again, or, or, or the Lord yeah, put water thing, upon, those, upon those that are a thirsty. Look, I'm paraphrasing. I got this. This is the book of John 4. In verse 13 it says, Yahweh shall answer and said unto you, whosoever drinketh of this water shall uh of this water shall thirst again, right? Talking about physical water, man, because Yahweh shall he was talking to this, you know, this Hamite at the uh, at the water well, man. Right? You drink of physical water, you're gonna thirst again eventually, man. Right? But it says, Whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, which is talking about the wisdom, not as an understanding of these scriptures, man. That's why brothers in this truth. We ain't trying to dibble and dabble into all these other different philosophies, man. Right? Because we know we got the truth, man. Because we're never thirsting again, man. Right? We've been satisfied. It says, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water spring unto everlasting life. Right? And that's why the scripture says, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I will give you a belly full of living water to prepare for you, man. You never leave on me. It's the scripture has said, I got Slide. that for you. You want to bring it up, brother? I got it. I, I'm quick on the draw, too. <laughs> I got it right here. Yeah, the quickest hand in the West today, man. <laughs> this is John 7 and 38, and it reads, He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. And that those rivers of living water is the doctrine, man, the understanding. You know? This is Sirach 15 and 3. Just to back up that point. You know, living water. You know, look, yep. look, look, at a, look at a river, man. It's constantly flowing. You know what I'm saying? That's how we are, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to this truth spiritually, man. Constantly flowing, you know what I'm saying, with that living water, man. Constantly growing. Alright? This is Sirach 15 and 1, down to 3. He that feareth, I don't want you to hold by will do good. And he that had knowledge of the law shall obtain her. 
What's her? Wisdom. Because wisdom is likened to a feminine spirit. It's a mother. Yep, so feel. Um, just yep. Like, and if you fear you have by some outside, you're going to do good, man. Right? The scripture speaks about setting your house in order. Right? But the majority of our folks don't fear the Lord. That's why they walk around like heathens. They do what they do, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you had the Jake, they came up in the choir. That nigga ain't fear the Lord. All he did was ask what he was doing and walked off. Okay. All right? You know what I'm saying? And the scripture says, Blessed is he that feared the Lord, man. Because if you fear the Lord, it's going to drive you to do what's right, man. You know what I'm saying? Turn away from wickedness. You know what I'm saying? And do what you need to do to you know, receive your salvation. This All is right? uh, 2 Esther 13 and 54 to back up that point. For thou hast forsaken thine own way and applied thy diligence unto my law and sought it. Thy life hast thou ordered in wisdom and has called understanding thy mother. You know? Understanding, man. This wisdom, knowledge, understanding, man. This is Sirach 15 and 2. And as a mother shall she meet him and receive him as a wife married of a virgin. With the bread of understanding shall she feed him and give him the water of wisdom to drink. This wisdom, knowledge, understanding. You know who you are, man. Knowing who your enemies are, man. You know? This doctrine. This is uh, Proverbs 5 and 16. Just to bring that point home. <laughs> Drink waters out of thine own cistern. Keep your eyes single. You want you to hear a doctrine and you hearken unto it, man, stick with that doctrine. Preferably the apostles' doctrine that you hear from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone coming on down. The true 100% doctrine, man. Unfiltered, yep. not watered down. This is Proverbs 5 and 15. Drink waters out of thine own cistern and running waters out of thine own well. Let thy fountains be dispersed abroad and rivers of waters in the streets. And that's where you hear this knowledge coming out. You know, going into what the brother was talking about in Song of Solomon, the third chapter. Bring that up, brother. Song of Solomon, three and three. Oh, uh, down, one down to five. Okay. Three and one. Okay. By night on my bed, I saw him when my soul loved it. I saw him, but I found him not. I will rise now and go about the city in the streets. And that's what we were searching for, you know? Before we came to the truth, we were searching for the truth, not knowing what it was, man. And this is what Solomon was. Uh, this is what Solomon was describing, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, because talk, this is where you're gonna find wisdom at, man. The, the, the real wisdom, not as an understanding of the scriptures. You're gonna find it out in the streets, man, with a proper side. Because as the Lord commanded us to go out to the highways and the hedges, man. Right. And as a matter of fact, I got this pulled up. This is uh, Proverbs one and verse uh, 20. twenty. It says, "Wisdom cries out; yep. she heard her voice in the streets." Woo! Right. Because this is what a prophet's gonna be at, man. We ain't gonna be in the goddamn classroom. You know what I'm saying? So-called prophesying, man. Right, even though outside, you know what I'm saying, the street teachings, you know, brothers be in the classroom teaching, but we make sure we hit the highways and the hedges. We ain't like how you want see faking the punk and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Coming out when it's hot, when it feels good. You know what I'm saying? The, the true man of love gonna be out there when, when it's cold, shit, hot, whatever, man. Wendy. It could be sprinkling, it don't matter, man. All right? It says, she crowded in the chief places of conference, right? Which, you know, with merchandise, you know what I'm saying, you know, being sold at. You know, you, you turn got the cameras around, this is a high traffic area. You see yeah. it? Five, six thousand people will walk by the camp every single Sunday. Yeah, but literally but, one of the most high traffic areas that brothers teach in. Yeah, you, you know, know? You, got, you got a food truck set up everywhere. You know what I'm saying? People sitting, you know what I'm saying? They turn the camera around so y'all can see. And also, when you go into that word traffic, you see the word army. Yeah. Army of Esau, Edom. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And what was uh, Babylon the Great called in Ezekiel the 17th chapter? The city of traffic, the yep. city of merchants, yep. the city I, of I, traffic. I yep. Where the eagle uh, plucked off the two twigs. You know, yep. it says in the city show how we're saying how long you simple ones be love simplicity, right? Which we'll come there and ask you, all right? You know, when, when, when you gonna come out of that damn dry bone state, man? When are you gonna repent? Because we understand that this is gonna be the only way that we actually get up out of here, man. The scripture speaks about how, you know what I'm saying, we, we would call upon the Lord, you know what I'm saying, the land of our captivity, all right? And he would deliver us. So the only way that we're going to be delivered is if we call upon the Lord and turn back to him, man. Just like when you read in the book of Judges. When you read in the book of Judges, what did Jake have to do in order to be delivered out of the land of their enemies, man? They had to call upon the Lord, and the Lord had sent upon him a judge to get him up out of there, man. And we know that in this time now, the ultimate judge is going to be your house shot, man. And the right. Jericho, how were they able to be taken down? Through men blowing the trumpet. Yeah. So that's, that, that's how the walls of Babylon the Great are going to fall, through men blowing the trumpet, give yeah. a warning, you know, yeah. prophesying against Mount Seir. Yeah, because before the Lord destroys any kingdom, he sends prophets against it, man. Yep. Right, no matter how long it is. Ecclesiastes 8 to 5, where the word of the king is, there is power.